YouTube, I'm Batman. What you're about to see is a tutorial on how to make Lego mouths move in Sony Vegas. Prepare to be bored by the geekiness that you are about to witness. You are about to see Caleb himself showing you how to make the mouths move and he's all like, like going around the screen like da 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 da. It's really boring, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so to get started, you're gonna want your project loaded up and your frames laid out here in this track. Uh, below, you'll wanna have your audio ready to go. And you can see here, I'll just do a quick preview of the scene we're oh, looking at. Pardon me for trying to put an end to crime. There's always. So we're gonna go ahead and add the mouths into that part. So to start off, click above the part here where the audio starts, right click in your timeline and say, insert generated media. Then you're gonna select solid color. From there, it's gonna automatically default to inserting a white solid color. So we're gonna go over here and click this button right there to mute the track with the solid color. After that's muted, we're gonna go ahead and click the eyedropper here and sample the color from the mouth that you're wanting to create. Now you can unmute that layer Go to this little square here and click the event pan crop settings. It's gonna pop up over here and then we're gonna to go to the keyframe section that says mask. Click on the pen tool to go ahead and create your new mask. And we're just gonna make a very, a very basic four point mask for this. Right, so now we have a very crude mouth ready to go. So go ahead and zoom in here. We'll uh, tweak this a little bit more, make it the right size. Get it in roughly the correct position. And we want to go ahead and round the edges here, so go ahead and click on the pen tool again. Click on each of your boxes, and it'll automatically kind of round the edges um, so that it looks a little less boxy. Obviously now the mouth is a little big. So we'll just scale it down a little bit accordingly. And there, that looks pretty good for our open mouth. The other thing that I like to do is go ahead and, uh, when you're selected on the on the mask, go ahead and go over here to the feather type, select both, and select 0.5. That'll make the edges on the mouth a little bit softer, so it won't appear as harsh, and it's a little bit more natural of a look uh, for the Lego. So now the next part is that we're going to go ahead and we're going to match the open mouth to the vowel sounds in the audio. So for instance, we'll go ahead and play this again. Oh. Pardon me for trying to put an end to crime. There's so you'll notice that usually these waveforms show up with the vowel sounds. So we'll go ahead and um, start copying and pasting this effect to go ahead and match it. Pardon me for... Pardon... Pardon... Pardon me... Pardon me for. Pardon me. Pardon me for. And you'll need to check your work along the way just to make sure that it's looking good. Pardon me for. Pardon me for trying. Now the mouth is gonna wander off the center as your character moves. Like here, it's not synced up. Don't worry about that right yet. We're gonna deal with that in a little bit. We're trying to put. So I'm going to fast forward here a little bit until the point where I have everything properly in place. All right, so now I have everything in place. If I play through it here, you're going to be able to see how it looks. Oh, pardon me for trying to put an end to crime. There's oh. So as you can see, the mouth is opening in the right places, but it obviously doesn't match with the face. So that's what we're going to go through and fix right now. So what you're going to need to do is zoom in pretty close, and then um, you're going to go through it frame by frame. So you can see on this frame, it's off. So what we're gonna go ahead is we're gonna click on the uh, mouth event here, press S to split it. 
Then we're going to pull up the event pan crop settings. And at this point, I would recommend clicking on the mask and saying none on the feather type because um, the feather type has a tendency to slow down the computer, so there will be a lot of lag. Um, whereas if you disable it, it responds pretty well. So then you'll right click here, say select and all so that you're moving your entire mask together. You're going to just line it up where it needs to go. And then we'll go ahead and turn that um, feather back onto both. And now you can see if I go through it by frame by frame, the mouth moves along with the face. So then we'll go on to the next frame and it moves a little bit there. So we're going to need to do it again. If you haven't guessed already, this part gets really tedious, but um, it's important in making the mouths look good. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're gonna go select all, and then move it where it needs to go. Then we're gonna turn that feather type back to both, and then we'll go th and scroll through here. And you can see that section looks pretty good. Now we'll move on to the next section. That one actually looks pretty good, so we can leave it alone. That one's a little off, so we'll click the event pan crop button. So again, we'll select this, set the feather to none, zoom in, select all, move it to where it needs to go, select both, and we can move on. So the other trick that you can learn is you can see his face here where the mouth is lined up correctly is in about the same position as here where the mouth isn't lined up correctly. What you can do in that case is you can go over here, right click on the event, say copy, then go over here, right click on this event and say paste event attributes. That way it'll paste the mouth in the correct place without you having to go do all the work. But as you can see, as we move forward that one frame, it does get out of sync. So we're gonna have to go ahead and press S to split and then go through the same process to correct the position of the mouth. You're gonna continue this process for the rest of the time um, that the character is on screen. Okay, so fast forwarding once again, I now have all the mouths positioned correctly. So if we go through this frame by frame, you can see as Tony Stark moves, the mouth moves along with him. So now that we've got this looking pretty good, Let's go ahead and play it and see how it looks. Oh, pardon me for trying to put an end to crime. There's, oh, so obviously that syncs up pretty well. And there you have it. That's exactly how we create the mouths moving within Sony Vegas Pro. There are other methods of doing this through Photoshop and paint, things like that. So if you're interested in seeing any of those methods, go ahead and uh, leave us a comment and hopefully we'll be able to post another tutorial pretty soon. See, there you have it. You learn something new every day. This is an IPA. One does not simply chug an IPA. One also does not drink an IPA until one is over 21. Or Batman's gonna come mess up your day.